Hello, hello, and welcome to Victor Plays. Uh, we're off to a little bit of a late start on the show today. Well, because someone changed their name in the Patreon, which required a little rearrangement of the normal Patreon title page. <clears throat> so, you know, these things happen. <sighs> hello, hello, everyone. Ugh, why do I look like I'm dead or dying? Ugh. That's not right at all. Ah, there I am. I fixed myself. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, we'll get to that later. No, NVIDIA, I don't want to update my game drivers. Yes. Why did it change again? I swear to Christ, it changed. Either that or one of my monitors is... Oh my god, wow. Why is there such a color difference between these two monitors? Ugh. That's not great. Alright, well, we'll deal with it for the time being. Bye bye um. Let's go! Uh, oh right, why is chat disabled in the... Oh yes, because I was so busy dealing with the other issue! <laughs> I didn't I completely forgot about this part of the setup. Uh. No, no, you did. You did follow the rules. I'm not saying you didn't. I'm saying it required some finagling of the bagel. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> let's start with some kind words. I don't know what this means. I I indeed did finagle a bagel. Oh no. Hang on, I have to refill my water. get to that bit in a minute Jesus anyways <clears throat> let's see these last two weeks I've been feeling a little down I'm not in the mood for doing the things that usually make me happy I need to study my art things but I feel like I can't do anything anymore I feel like I need rest but I haven't studied properly these two weeks so I don't think I deserve it oh I can't really answer that it's I spent an entire year not making my art. <sighs> Been taking a break since August after my graduation. <laughs> Hydrate before you dihydrate. <laughs> uh, let's see. Taking a break since graduation. Um, and I feel like I should stop taking a break already, but the thing is, I'm struggling to do so. And it's hard when I'm so isolated in my parents' house when my friends are scattered around the country. <sighs> I just dropped out of college. <sighs> <sighs> Here we go. Lordy me. I'm feeling kind of lonely and bored. I just want to read letters to connect. So if anyone wants to write me anything, please do. I don't care about the topic. Maybe something that makes you happy or something that you learned or read recently. What is something that I learned or read recently that makes me happy? <sighs> uh. 
<clears throat> I recently learned that Hey, j -Bans. That you can safely store cucumbers on your... <clears throat> ...countertop. I always thought they had to be refrigerated. That's the best I got. It's been a really busy past few days! Oh, Fritters, I learned about the economy of Animal Crossing two years ago. <laughs> yeah, on, on that note, actually. Um, so let's, you know what, normally we play kind words. Um, but I think in this particular case, I want to catch up with some, uh, some channel news and such. Um... Just to kind of bring you guys up to date, because the last episode was kind of nuts. Okay, so for the past for, uh, several months, I've been having problems with my computer. Occasional blue screens, things like that. Over the past month, things have just gone crazy. Things have just, you know, tons of blue screens left and right. Things like last week where you saw I couldn't keep the fucking stream going. Just crashes over and over. Um, and I couldn't figure it out. I mean, I worked in IT for, for like six years between running my own computer repair business, uh, working for IT on campus, uh, building custom computers for people. I could not figure out the fuck was wrong with this computer. I diagnosed it six way to Sunday, replaced the RAM, replaced the graphics card, think it was one thing or the other. Replacing the easier to replace components so I could figure out. Because one of the big things about diagnostics is that if you really want to go through and properly diagnose the problems, uh, you have to have something to test each individual part with, and I, I just didn't. I didn't have anything I could test each part with. So, uh, the day after last week's stream, last Wednesday, I took my computer down to Micro Center. Now, if you live in Southern California and you need a place to get electronics or computer components, or you really just want to go to a store, an electronics store, where people are knowledgeable and always happy and willing to help, I cannot recommend Micro Center enough. I used to go to the Micro Center in Boston when we were living on the East Coast. I was so happy once I finally, like, got over that emotion, that like that emotional like hiccup of like, oh god, it's an hour and a half drive away. Micro Center in Tustin. Anyways. When I built this computer a year ago, I went and I had bought all of the components from there. And so I had gotten the two year warranty on each of the components. So I took my computer down there on their website. It said that if you bring it before four hours, if you bring it four, if you bring your computer four hours before their closing time, um, that you will get a diagnosis the same day. And the diagnostic fee is like 35 bucks. I'm like, fine, whatever. I'll take the whole computer down. I will do the diagnostic. That's fine. Um, so I take it in there. You know, they have a line to get in because COVID. Um, and I say, all right, hey, this is, this is, here's my computer. I bought all the parts here from you guys. These are the, this is what I think the problem is. At that point, I was telling them, look, I think the problem is the CPU and the motherboard or the motherboard, maybe both. I don't know. Um, here are all the diagnostic steps I did to get to this point. Here are all the diagnostic steps I did to get to this point. And I said to them, and I said, okay, so great. They're like, okay, yeah, we'll take a look at it. And I'm like, I'm going through filling up the paperwork. I said, okay, well, do you, do you think, so what time, like, should I just, you know, should I leave and then come back? Or like, should I just stay around the store? Like, how long is this going to take? And they said, oh, the guy said, oh, no. 
Like, we're not even gonna be able to look at it for at least a couple of days. We won't be done with it for at least four or five days. Well, I needed to get my graduation submissions packet for, uh, for grad school done, and all of my files, apart from the off-site backup that, you know, that the Patreon pays for, which is Backblaze, apart from that, um, all of the files are on not, like, one drive that I could pluck out and put into an enclosure and, you know, use with a laptop, um but a storage array split across five hard drives um, wherein the array would not function without all of the drives. Quite frankly, it's more data than I could fit onto a flash drive reasonably. Um, so I'm like, uh, well, I kind of need this computer. He's like, well, you're not getting it back today. So I bit the bullet. And I went and I bought a new processor and a new motherboard. So I got those, brought them back, went and spent the better part of Wednesday, the rest of the part of Wednesday and Thursday installing them, installing the new components into the, into my tower, taking all of the old components that I've thus far replaced and putting them into an old tower I have. I basically ship of theseus my computer. Um, <clears throat> so now my computer is working properly, which means that my <laughs> diagnosis ended up being correct. Oh God. And, um, so now we shouldn't have any more crashes. Um, the upshot of that, of spending that money, which I really didn't have, still don't have, I had to put it all on a credit card. I'm gonna have to pay it back over time. Um, the upshot of that is that now, um, yeah, um, is that now I have this completely other computer that has um, a Ryzen 7 2700X processor in it, 16 gigs of RAM, and my old GTX 1070 in it. And what I'm going to do is that sometime later this week, sometime this week, maybe day after tomorrow, um, I'm going to take that computer down, back down to Micro Center and say, hey, um, yeah, I've got that two-year replacement warranty. Here's the $35 for the diagnosis. Run it through some stress tests. Tell me what I already know, that the motherboard and the processor are bad, and go ahead and replace them. <laughs> And then, so what I'll end up having is a hot, is a hot replacement, um, a ready replacement drop-in computer should something ever, should something go wrong with this computer that I have now finished building. That way, if something does go wrong, I can leave it with them to get it fixed and not have to worry about it. So... That's happening. <sighs> yeah. It's been a really tiring week, I'm not even gonna lie. Um... And then, um... Patreon. Uh, part of my preparation for applying to graduate school is turning some of the, um, anime convention panels I've done, especially the ones that are more research heavy, into, like, <clears throat> I know, yeah, that's the thing, I now have a backup computer, which is, which is comparable to the one I have. Um, so I just... So I shouldn't, anyways, uh, to, to finish with the computer, I shouldn't be having any more crashes. I did stress tests. I managed to be able to play Red Dead Redemption <laughs> for, you know, w for as long as I wanted without crashing. So, yeah, there's that. Um, benchmarks are amazing now. Um, so this, this sh we should be good. 
on on in terms of a lack of technical difficulties. Um, like I was saying, part of my getting ready for my grad uh, graduate school application is putting together a portfolio. So I decided I was going to take start taking some of my uh, uh, anime convention panels. The ones that have a strong research and academic kind of component to them and turning them into like stuff that'll work in the portfolio. Um, and the first thing I did was to convert was to change my my long suffered and beleaguered panel <laughs> and, and and vaguely poorly attended panel, the economics of Animal Crossing, into like I don't think 20 pages is long enough for a book, but like a booklet, turned it into a booklet, um, and uploaded it. Uh, and I, I did a, I'm really happy with, I wouldn't call it a novella. Um, um, <laughs> not a novella. Um, <clears throat> let me turn on display capture. I don't think I think twenty pages is too big for a brochure. <laughs> Let me open this up in here. Uh, there we go. So I've turned it into a uh, nonfiction a handbook, a guide, yeah, something like that. Uh, I'm really happy with. I put in a lot of work into this. Um, Including studying the orig the Animal Crossing Companion Guide published by Future Press, um, I took a lot of keys from uh, keys from them on in terms of uh, colors and things like that. Um, the main typeface the main typeface is called. Uh, well, let's open up InDesign. Here we go. Adobe InDesign. Perfect. Uh, pages. It's a big document. Here we go. Uh, the main type... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, main typeface is Seconda Round Bold. Um... Yeah, I hope. Yeah, come back, King Gal. You know, be safe out there. Um, yeah, it's a second round bold. Um, and um, I was able to get that font. You know what? One second. I'm sorry. There must be something urgent going on. My grandmother, I love her. She just wanted to say good night. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, Seconda does suit the uh, Animal Cross. I, I spent a lot of time trying to specifically identify the font. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I put a took a lot of work putting this together. Um, And I put together uh, a page in the back for all the Patreon supporters who... So, because it started as a panel, and uh, and all the research, you know, preceding the actual performance of the panel, I included all the Patreon supporters that were... that were there during that time period. Um, so... Yeah, anyways, uh, Patreon supporters have access to it right now on the, uh, on the Patreon, on the Frostworks Patreon, um, and then, um, 
you guys also have access to the raw data that was collected to make the to do the research for this um and tomorrow i'm going to put up the a blank just the blank page um because i don't know i think it would kind of make like good stationary or a very neutral like cell phone background or something um so you guys can do with that what you will um Later tonight, I'm going to put it up on uh, Gumroad um, so that if you guys, if people want to, so people who are in Patreon supporters, if they want to download it, they can get, they can download it for free, but they can also choose to kick in a little bit um, to help support the channel too. So there'll be a link to that um, coming up later tonight and that'll be good. All right, so speaking of Patreon, um, speaking of Patreon, let us do the thing which we love to do and explain a little bit. See, like I was saying earlier, part of the reason the show was delayed was because somebody decided to put their Patreon name in the language of the Jadoon. So we will get to that. <sighs> so thank you to Kate. And so because it was so long, I had to do some rearranging, as you may have noticed. So uh, thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. The little the money that you guys kick in each month helps to keep this channel to chuchin. Um, helps to pay for things like our Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. And um, a Backblaze subscription, which is incredibly important. Uh, keeping this massive computer I have fully backed up and secure. Um, so thank you to Kate Macross, George Davidson, our first Patreon supporter. The Geek Nights podcast coming up with a new Patreon name every week was exhausting. I have to pull this in front of me for this. Um, Bob is retired, so my new attorney, a lovely la a love lady named Janice, has designated me as thine Boozler Al, King of South Yokohama. Zara Gorgian, uh, Ethan Fryer, Jay Bance, Buggy and Ducky, Chibi Squee! Mo yo sho ho plo vo flo ro ko ro blo fo to sho kro so sho fo tro lo lo sho plo fo sho lo sho fo fo lo so. And you for your generous contributions to the Patreon for this channel. <clears throat> Freaking Jadoon. <laughs> All the people. Why the, why the Jadoon? Ay, ay, ay. Um. Yes, it was. Fr it's Fritter's birthday. Uh, was uh, was yesterday. Um, because it's funny. Um, and uh, part of that is is me agreeing. Like she sent me the game, but I could have been totally like, look, I will give you the money back so I don't have to play this. But part of this is me saying, I will play Hotful Boyfriend Holiday Star. So that's that's what we're gonna kind of do at this point. <sighs> Ooh, whoa. Hey, look, I have an airplane on the front of the top page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh whoa. Oh whoa. Uh, fuck, I have to play the pigeon simulator. Again. The pigeon dating simulator. Again. Hmm. I still have some of my dinner here. Which was a a take out a pickup order from um Okamoto Kitchen. If you're in the uh, if you're in Southern California, 
I highly recommend that you pick up, that you try Okamoto Kitchen. Um, it's run by a friend of mine, uh, Gerald Abraham. And um, he is, uh, he runs the food trucks. Uh, they got three of them. He runs the food trucks with his wife. And uh, they make good food. So, all right, let's see. Hot tofu boyfriend, holiday star. 1920 by 1080. No, let's, let's do, uh, fine. Graphics quality. Fantastic. Um, yes. All right, let's do this play then. Do I have to do anything special for this pigeon palooza? Oh. oh my god. There we go. Yeah, I want to I do legitimately want to watch the Colonel Sanders movie on Lifetime. Um all right, let's do a uh new game, right? The Christmas Thieves Attack, a brutal theme of thieves, here to steal the city's beloved Christmas trees. We thought they were just an urban legend, until now. They're after the tree, and that rhymes with T, which stands for trouble right here in little tough Hachiman City. Really? Really? A Music Man reference? Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways. Christmas trees disappearing, a dark shadow wriggling just out of sight. Can our faithful heroes from Saint Pigeon Nations, Saint Pigeon Nations, the puns are too great for me to withstand, put an end to this mystery before it puts an end to them? Please enter your name. Well, that's easy. Barry. <laughs> yes, of course. Barry G. Guy. Barry GG. Oh, we're gonna go with Barry. There we go. Because you can't fit Barry G Guy in, so we're just gonna go with Barry. Okay? Barry G Guy. But Tosaka. What the fuck is this? <gasps> First name, last name. Hiroko Tosaka. So that we're gonna go G Guy. Perfect. No, no, that's not okay. No. Okay, so it's got to be G Guy Barry. Okay, got it. So we're going to go G Guy. Okay. And then Barry. Perfect. Barry G Guy lives on. Hey, Ryota, what time you got? Um, it's almost six. You're not running late, are you? It's already dark out. Tell me about it. We were all talking about the nice autumn leaves and all just a f nice autumn leaves and all just a few days back. And now I'm darn if it ain't winter. Christmas, even, is just a few days away. Swift indeed is the passage of time. Well, I'd better be heading back. Azami will be getting out of work soon. Be careful, Mr. Rabu. 
There are all kinds of hooligans out and about at this time of night. No sweat. Worst comes to worst, I can count on a zombie to save me. Are you sure you're not relying on her a little too much? We put up our Christmas tree today. Please have a look at it as you leave. You did? I never saw it on my way in. I'll have to get a real good look at it to make up. Mr. Urushihara and I put a lot of work into decorating it. Let's see. I hope you like it. You bet I will. See you all around. December certainly does feel like the end of the year. I wonder how much busier it will be at this time next year. You're a sophomore, correct? Have you been thinking about your plans for after graduation already? No, not really. I just want to make sure I can take care of my mother. Worries are an important part of youth, after all. And sometimes problems will simply disappear as you try to solve them. You never know. Uh, Mr. Ushihara, could I ask you for some advice? I've had a lot on my mind. But of course, I'm more than happy to provide whatever assistance I... Where's the sound of the cat yowling? We had the plates and the trash cans falling over. Where's the sound of the cat? That came from out front. I believe it did. <laughs> Let's go see what has happened. It's pitch dark outside. It's hard to see anything even with the light from the cafe door. What on earth? <laughs> he did! <laughs> A Lutino Bujigar. Bu Bujigar. Bujigar? It's collapsed on the sidewalk. Mr. Rabu, are you alright? Have you been injured? Uh, I let my guard down. They got me... from behind. They got you? Do you need an ambulance? It must have been somebody settling a grudge from your biker gang day- BIKER GANG DAYS?! No, that's not it. They're... The legendary Christmas thieves come to our town! The Legendary Christmas Thieves? What's that, a new TV show? No, no, they're real. They're out in the streets right now, spreading misery and destruction. They've been coming up on the news a lot, too. Haven't you seen the headline? As I recall, the main character of this game literally lives in a cave. The Christmas Thieves invade Little Dove Hachiman City at last. No, this is the first I've heard of them. Oh my god, little tiny pompadours with little leather jackets. That would be so adorable. Anyways. Wait, wait, hang on a second. Hang on. Wait, wait, can I back it up? No, 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 no. How do I back up? I can't back up. Never mind that. That's the first I heard. Th that's the first I heard the name of this town. I guess it just never comes up in conversation or anything. The more you know. Do they show up every year at this time? I don't remember hearing about them last year. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. This is the first they've come here. I don't know too much either, but apparently they move around each year. 
I worked at Mr. Rushihara's shop, Toremi Cafe, during the summer. The job was only until August, but apparently he decided he could use a help for December as well. Afro ducks, yeah. Yeah. The wilderness gets very cold this time of year, making it dangerous to come home late. So I left it to Ryota this time. That, and I need time to study. And it sounds like Torimi Cafe is the mysterious thief's latest victim. Wait, no. Whose voice is this? Is this supposed to be the protagonist voiced? <laughs> this smacks of drama! Drama, excitement, and adventure! I object! Wh what was that for? Just getting the feel for it. There has to- there's been an incident, right? I need to make sure my finger-pointing stuff is a sufficiently dramatic for when I need to use it. Eh? Uh, please don't go around pointing and shouting at stuff. You'll give me a heart attack. Tell me, who's the victim? And the suspect? The victim is Mr. Rabu. He was attacked from behind while texting a picture of Mr. Rushihara's Christmas tree to Azami. And when we found him, the tree was gone. Hold it! W what was that for? What do you mean, the tree was gone? Please don't shout everything. You could just ask. Sorry, I got excited. No, I'm not teeheeing. Jeez. Well, stealing the tree definitely implicates the Christmas thieves. They must be wandering the town stealing any tree they see. It's... it's horrible. Mr. Rushihara and I worked really hard to decorate that tree. And now all the customers who are looking forward to it will seem... will be disappointed. Monstrous! How could they steal Mr. Rushihara's incredibly classy hand-decorated tree? Let's look for the thieves! Christmas is at, is at the weekend. They must still be in town. They're the mean ones, Mr. Guy. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. They probably are still prowling around here looking for trees. Yes, I want to get... No, wrong ways. Yes, I want to get Mr. Rushihara's tree back anyway. Let's find them, G Guy. Ah! Ah, I had it right the first time. Oh, I would have said Barry. Ah. Uh. Eh. <sighs> oh well. We can start today! Okay, I don't know what kind of bird this is gonna be coming up, so I don't know what kind of voice to make. I'm gonna just pick one. You two are awfully loud today. Can you not grant the rest of us a little peace and quiet? <laughs> it's a dove! <laughs> It's gonna be a Vegeta dub! Dub! <laughs> oh, Sakuya, listen! They've appeared! The white demons stand poised to shatter the silence of that most holy night! You can't just go around giving things nicknames like a certain someone next door, G guy. Christmas trees are being stolen all around town, Sakuya. Maybe you've already heard. Ah! You must be referring to that drivel the local rag devoted an entire page to! Disgusting! Is there not more important news to be run now of all seasons? How telling is it that so much attention is devoted to such foolishness? You don't like Christmas, Sakia? What? Where do you think I hail- From where do you think I hail, plebeian? Uh, France, right? Oh, of course. 
Christmas probably means a lot more to you than to us Japanese people. <laughs> Sakuya says. The council room is already decorated with the most fabulous tree. No, you know what? You know what? It's it's not gonna be Vegeta. It's gonna be <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Vegeta. No. No, it's supposed to be French, right? So <clears throat> bad, bad French name, bad French accent. The cancer room is already decorated with the most fabulous tree. A label overlooks nothing. Go French or go. <clears throat> well, the problem is here's the problem. My Vegeta was very slowly turning into, um, um, Nappa. That's the problem. My Vegeta was very slowly turning into Nappa. Um, so yeah, I think. I think bad French accent is is what we're going to to do for for Sakuya. I have even designed to place it near the Dean to place it near the window, so that the masses may gaze up at it in awe and wonder. Be grateful. He who does not celebrate Christmas is no true bird. That is the importance of Christmas holds for us. In other words, Sakia gets extra jolly this time of year. Better take notes. Trees are being stolen from in front of shops and on the sidewalk and other easily visible places. So you should probably be careful too, Sakia. Don't let it get stolen. <laughs> Do not place me on the same level as you Orientals. Wow, that's fucking racist. <laughs> With your infantile understanding of private security, I have the best poodles watching over it. Did I not say I overlook nothing? I know not who this villain may be, but he shall step not one centimeter within my territory. The council room security is flawless, I tell you, flawless! Sakia, we call that sort of line a flag here in Japan. Oh well. Let's start our investigation by asking people around town, Ryota. Good idea. Let us know if you hear anything new or get robbed, Sakia. How many times must I tell you my tree will not be stolen? Five minutes later. Oh! Okosan, wasn't Okosan the uh the the peacock? Also, your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> we shall go with this outrageous French accent accent. <clears throat> Doing a fake French accent really clears things up. Oh, lordy. Oh, yeah. This episode of Victor Plays is brought to you is brought to you in part by water. Water. It's what you drink. Ah! The graphic! Where's the graphic? I know what I think. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's what happens when you store stuff on the desktop and then you move everything off the desktop. Boop. There we go. <sighs> Black screen. And to a just dead ranked in horror. Uh, 
Upon leaving the building, Ryo... <clears throat> Upon leaving the building, Ryota and I are greeted by the sight of Okasan prancing around on the track. Prancing or... Maybe skipping? Not sure. At any rate, he appears to be in pointlessly high spirits. Nope, it's just another fucking pigeon. You're in a good morning. You're in a good mood today, son. Did something good happen? Coo! It's Christmas! Christmas is almost here! What? Another Christmas fiend? Is there something about Christmas that wakes the ancestral jollity inside of a dove's heart? Cuckoo! Everything is sparkly on Christmas! Okathon is excited! Cuckoo! And everything smells like delicious food! Okathon is very excited! <laughs> Western pastry shops always look so tempting this time of year. You spend a lot of time in department stores, right, son? Have you heard anything about the Christmas thieves? Coo! Who? Villains out to steal? Okasan still at the scrub? Yes, it's King Candy! <laughs> you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? <laughs> Villains out to steal pretty Christmas trees! Cool, cool! Christmas trees, yes! Okasan knows about them! Cool! The trees at Okasan's favorite high society single department store disappeared! Well, you know, Uncle Arthur is is played by Ed Wynn. Wait, Uncle Wait, Uncle Arthur was it Uncle Arthur Okay. Now hang on. Hang on. Are you talking about Uncle Ar Obviously you're not talking- You can't be talking about Uncle Arthur from Bewitched. It has to be Uncle Arthur from Mary Poppins. Which was played by Ed Wynn, who Alan Tudyk was imitating for the role of King Candy. No, not Paul Lind. I-, I oh, Fuck it, whatever. I'm doing the voice I'm doing, okay. <sighs> no, Uncle Arthur sounded more like this. This is what Uncle Arthur sounded like. The bewitched one. The bewitched one sounded more like this. High Society Seagull Department Store? Do you know where that is, Ryota? Yeah, I've worked at the samples table there. I'll show you the way. Here we come, High Society Seagull Department Store. Hmm. Department stores always feel a little unrealistic. A little decadent, maybe. It makes it so hard to go in. They're okay, really. Just don't think about that and it'll be fine. He read my mind? More importantly, we need to ask a clerk about the thefts. <clears throat> right, right. Um, excuse me. Yes, may I help you? Do you know where you are, young lady? Um, uh, this is the High Society Seagull Department Store, right? That is correct. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Say it once more. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Good. This store is of High Society, by High Society, and for High Society. It is no place for obviously low society humans. Please leave. This is blatant speciesism! I hope you're ready to swallow your words or defend them with steel, cretin. Draw, man, draw, before I stick you like a rotisserie chicken! 
Calm down, G-Guy. Getting into a fight here won't do us any good. Please, don't act like San. And just what does Okasan have that makes him so much more high society than me? Pl please, we just want to ask you a question. We'll leave right away. Did the Christmas thieves really break into this store? They did not break into the store, no. They were not allowed in. However, as you know, the store faces onto the street. The three Christmas trees we had arranged trees we had arranged outside were stolen. Trees <clears throat> Trees placed outside. Just like at the Torimi Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they really are aiming for easy targets first. They seem to be quite crafty. I think this might get difficult, Ryota. Ah, I could feel the thrill of the chase. My hunter-gatherer blood boils. Right on time. I knew it was a good idea to ask you along. The three stolen trees were of little value. We've already sent away for new ones. Do you think you could wait a little before setting them up? The thieves might come back. True, but Christmas is almost here. If not now, then when would we put them out? Christmas trees are just so much rubbish once it's the 26th. They're not rubbish. You can use them every year. <clears throat> um, were there any witnesses? The tree is in, the blind, in a blind spot between security cameras, so, alas, we have nothing. Too busy star- Too busy staring down your own noses to look out the window, were you? I hope I never see you here again, young lady. Well, that was a disappointment. About all we found out is that the thieves aim for trees placed in vulnerable spots outside. Maybe we should leave? Oh boy, we have a choice! What are we gonna choose? We got choices. We can leave the store, stop by the furniture section, or stop by the clothing section. You decide! Mm. Meanwhile, I'm gonna lift my chair up. Okay, we got two votes for clothing. I'll give it another uh, 10 seconds. All right, clothing it is. That's a variety of clothing. Out of face? All these pretty clothes make me feel out of face. It's out of place, not face. He did it again! She's not thinking, she really is just saying it out loud. Can birds even wear clothes like these? Are they just for decoration? Shops are always so pretty this time of year. I feel like I'm looking into a different world. They do look a little unreal. Do you like Christmas, G-Guy? My family's Shin Buddhist, so I've never really celebrated it, but I do like it when every birdie's all festive. I'm not exactly Christian. I like the atmosphere, too. Actually, I don't think many people celebrate it for religious reasons anymore. And there's all kinds of work this time of year, t <clears throat> this time of year too. I always end up really busy. You dress up as Santa, right? Yep. With a mini skirt? Yep. Why does Ryota get all the female main character jobs? That must be fun. I'd like to try doing something cute and high school girlish like that sometime too. 
I'm not sure how costumes are high school girlish, but I could refer you. We could go together next year. Cosplaying Rasana right before junior ex junior year exams? Just thinking about it makes my heart flutter. There's nothing more to find here. Let's look somewhere else. All right, where are you next? The thefts have gotten onto the news. If we ask around, we should be able to find some eyewitnesses. Let's see. Sounds good. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> Gasp. <clears throat> what? Huh? Some glass object splinters with a monumental crash behind us as we make for the exit. I turn around and... Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! What are those? They look... A little like doves, but not really? Are they... maybe they are doves? In any case, a pair of bizarre white creatures are bludgeoning themselves against a number of glass Christmas trees and reindeer. What are those? Are they doves? Um... I'm not sure? Never seen anything like them. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> These creatures frolic through the Christmas displays like fuzzy wrecking balls, leaving behind nothing but broken glass and lost profits. There! The white children! Oh dear, that's no good. You two, where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take you to the employee's lounge. High society does have rules. Merry Christmas? The creatures, tra the creatures trailed dejectedly after the security guard. What were those? I can't believe people let their kids run loose like that. I'd love to see the parents' faces when they get billed. I guess Christmas gets everyone pretty excited. Sort of like demons which rampage through the full moon during the full moon. Yeah, that's the thing. They have hands. Like they had like hands, not wings. I don't I don't know what the fuck they are. <laughs> I do know I want to make that. I do know I want to do the voice of them again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 10,000 Ten million years dungeon. <laughs> Riona and I spent some time asking around, but no one had ever caught sight of the thieves. Apparently, trees aren't just being stolen from outside, but inside houses as well. If only we knew what the culprits looked like. I have thoughts. Thank you for... Thank you for your efforts. We searched around where we had the tree, but we couldn't find any clues. I'm sorry, Mr. Urushihara. You didn't see them either, Mr. Urushihara? Correct. By the time Mr. Kawara and I get outside, the tree was already gone. That said... Was there something else? Please, look at this. Mr. Rabu sent it to me a few minutes ago. Mr. Rushihara. Mr. Rushihara proffers his cell phone. A smartphone. Fancy. <laughs> it's them shady motherfuckers. Y you mean those shadows are. Mr. Rabu said he took it just before he was rendered unconscious. Suspicious. Suspicious shadows carrying away the tree. They must be the culprits. Those silhouettes look awfully familiar. But maybe it's just my imagination. 
probably nothing. I wouldn't have gotten this far in this vicious food chain if I was worried about little things like that. There are two of them, then. They're awfully small, though it's a little hard to see in this picture. Mr. Rabu has always been one for strange local phones, so it would seem that the resolution is not particularly high. That does seem like him. This will help us a lot, Mr. Ushihara. Thank Mr. Rabu for us, too. How is he doing right now? Azami is taking care of him. <clears throat> Rabu... Rabu always seems a little incapable. Or like he's in a subtly bad position. Sort of like he's always stuck being a background character. It's not much, but we found a clue. We'll pick up the trail tomorrow morning. Later that evening at St. Pigeonations. Yuya. Um, all right, need a voice for this Yuya chap. New Yorker. I can't do a good New York accent, unfortunately. Walter Brennan. <clears throat> okay, I can do that. Salutations, Mr. One. It is rather chilly tonight, isn't it? You're still here, Sakazi Sakazaki Sak Sakazaki Yuya? Haven't you been instructed to leave with the other students accepting emergencies? There is a little something going on, actually. Aside from the usual? And what would that be? There have been orders to investigate the Christmas thieves. High priority. That's the string of thefts involving Christmas trees, isn't it? Isn't it? It's not as if they're growing legs and walking away, after all. And it's a little hard to imagine them spontaneously disappearing. And what is a night of sexy and luxurious discussion of sweet holiday love without a sparkling tree? I'm quite happy to take up the job to defend everything the ladies and gentlemen of the town have worked so hard to prepare for this special season. You certainly seem eager enough. It's good to have a little zeal, but don't go letting your guard down just because the case in question is completely idiotic. We never know who may have laid trap for us and where. Roger that. I'll carve it into... <laughs> I'll carve it into my pigeon heart, Mr. One. I'll go take a look at a few things. Then, there is a tree here on campus, after all. First I've heard of it. Where is it set up? In the student council room. You can see it from the grounds. Sakuya must want to show off with his big, fine, all-natural tree. He doesn't let anybody touch it, but you can always see it in his window. It's really quite childish. Nothing wrong with a little vanity while he's still young. To a point, at least. Anyway, I'll go take a look at the council room and then head into town. I'll send my report to HQ later. Adieu. The Christmas Thieves? 
Stealing the town's festivity is hardly an admirable pursuit. I suppose I'll see if I can rustle up any gadgets to give Sakazi, Sakazaki a hand. I guess the school has an intelligence bureau? <clears throat> hmm. The council room certainly has gotten some fancy renovations since Sakuya arrived. But this is him I'm dealing with. It'll look like sneaking in is going to be hard, but knowing him, he'll have overlooked something obvious. Uh, what was that? Uh, this could be bad. I smell explosives. What? It's cold. Really cold. Wait, have we switched characters? Fuck. I think we switch characters. The morning air this time of year is dangerous indeed. Makes my nose hurt. The birds are all in full winter plumage. I wonder if it's like wearing a down comforter everywhere. I wish I had winter plumage. Yeah, definitely the char main character. <laughs> Sadly, my skin is as bare and tender as my heart. So I might as well hurry up and get to school. Uh huh? There's an awful lot of activity on the grounds today. A crowd of birds is milling around the side of the building. Stay calm, everyone. Who's Kazuaki? Did we get him already? I don't think we did. It may be dangerous, so don't get too close. Let's make sure no birdie gets hurt, okay? Mr. Nanaki! What's happened? It must be bad if you're up and about and... Oh, God, he's like Aizawa. Got it. Oh, good morning, Barry. Well, it looks like the thieves broke in, I suppose. The thieves? Could he mean... That's right, the Christmas thieves. Apparently they broke in last night. It seems they took the tree from the student council room. Nice work, Saukia! Nice flag retrieval! But Sakia looked so so satisfied when he was talking about its perfect security. What happened? Mm. Well, look up. Up? As in up at the council room? Well, fuck. The council room's window, or rather its wall, is blasted open. Wow, they're not just thieves now. I bet they had to break at least five more laws to pull that off. They certainly seem to want Christmas trees. They would have been better off just asking him, though. Huh? The tree was placed near the window, right? If they broke in like this... Ah! I let my gaze drop as I was lost in thought and I see something white on the ground. It's extremely hard to tell with it mixed in with the broken glass and bits of plaster, but it looks like some sort of fur. It's not a feather. It looks like something that came off a stuffed animal. Or maybe some kind of mammal. But I'm the only mammal in school. This could be a valuable clue. Standing here won't help me find anything out, though. I need to get Sakya to tell me exactly what happened. I might as well check a few other things along the way. Where to first? Council room or the library? <sighs> All the other kids with the fluffed up birds better fly, better fly. Yep, council room. The council room is wrapped in an unusually serious atmosphere. As if a robbery weren't enough, there was even a bombing. Out of those two, the latter is almost certainly the more worrying. Jigai. Oh, Ryota, good morning! As you can see, Sakia has magnificently recovered the flag he raised the other day. As expected of an aristocrat. 
Yeah, that was definitely a first-class flag retrieval. He certainly got me looking at the thefts more seriously. Now then, on to the crime scene! Whoa. Sakia's flawless security has been completely destroyed. What is this lunacy? Do you mean to tell me that the bombing school buildings have come and practice in this barbaric land? Uh, no, I, I don't think it is. I've never seen anything like this before. This is beyond the pale. Who conceives this wretched plot? Huh? Wasn't your security perfect, Sakuya? I thought you said it was on a completely new level compared to our primitive concepts. Ah! It was perfect! On the door, at least! What kind- What kind of rascal blew the vase to the wall? I think I've drifted a little bit... East. From French into slightly German. I better rein that in. What kind of rascal blew the vase into the wall? Vol- No, not vol. Wall. <laughs> if they're going to break in, why not act with some semblance of decency and come in through the door? Blowing up the- Blowing up the window isn't exactly a common way of forcing an entry, but isn't that a little bit of a problem if there's only security on the front door? Did you see the criminals at all, Sakuya? No. I too only learned of this upon the pri upon arriving at the morning arriving this morning. But look, look at that He gestures at the corner by the window. There's a pile of black and stuff on the floor. What is that? They burned the tree. Wait, is that the the Christmas tree? Or what's left of it? Looks like it got blown up along with the window. I was wondering if something had happened to the tree. It was right next to the window and wall that got blown up after all. Nothing left but ashes. They've left a criminal ultimatum next to it! An ultimatum? They haven't done that before, have they? Let's take a look. We oops! We're very sad! The tree went boom! Sorry! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Um... We oopsed. We're very sad the tree went boom. Sorry. It's a little lonely, but we're... It's a little lonely, but we're taking Mr. Sparkly Star. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's... That's the ultimatum? Reads more like a kid's note apologizing for breaking Aunt Mildred's antique vase. Those scoundrels to take the tree topper, the most valuable part and run. The tree topper? The star that sits at the very top of the tree. Oh, so that's what it's called. They destroyed the tree, stole the topper. This is a dreadful affront to my illustrious name. I swear I shall seek them, find them, and impose upon them the strict judgments. That would be vigilanteism, Sakuya. Japan is a constitutional nation. You can't do that. But it's not as if I don't see where he's coming from. If I spent that much time and effort decorating something just to have someone blow it up, blow up the room it's standing in, I'd be pretty angry, too. Mr. Urushihara's tree stolen. Masakiya's tree is reduced to cinders and the topper stolen. We have to make sure these tragedies don't repeat. But we can't really find the culprits just from this apology. Or Christmas card or ultimatum or whatever it is. Let's ask Mr. One if he saw anything. He's on night shift, so he should have been here. Oh, good plan. Lead us there, Barry. Stop, stop treating me like your underling, you satin pants prairie chicken. You need to go ahead. 
I'll stay here and see if I can find any more clues. See you in a little while, Ryota. It's awfully cold in here. I guess with a hole that large in the wall, I might as well be outside. Dr. Iwanami? Iw Iwamine? I hadn't expected to see you here. I came to see the corpse. What corpse? Where'd you hear that there was a corpse? Oh, no corpse. No corpse. And here I had my hopes up. Please don't say that with such a genuinely dejected look on your face. Well, no matter. It is still quite the fascinating crime scene. I suppose I shall look around. Please don't mind me. I have no intention of interfering with you. I see no reason to tamper with the evidence. Just yet. <laughs> Alone with the doctor in a half-collapsed room. I hope I make it out of here alive. Excuse us! What is this depressing room? It's the maintenance office. Mr. One's night quarters are here too. I think it's comfy. It feels very lifting. Look, it's a pigeon with like a hat in the back or something. I don't know what the heck that is. Like a, it's a pigeon with a spaceship. That's what it is. Comfy? <laughs> Let us do whatever we are here for and leave before the poverty and reprehensibility rub off. Mr. One, are you in here? Salutations, mon ami. Did you come to visit me? You Yuya He's sitting at a low he's sitting at a low tea table. Oh no. The irresponsible and slightly worn out Yuya might just be a bit too attractive. I knew it, the place as disgusting as this is bound to draw disgusting company. And a very fine morning to you too, Sakuya. We came to talk to Mr. One. What brought you here, Yo Yuya? I'm holding down the fort while One is out. Out? Immediately after a break-in? Suspicious indeed. I suggest we apprehend him at the first opportunity. You misunderstand. He's taking care of a few things so our investigation of the theft can go more smoothly. After all, he and I both saw Yuya and one? You saw the crime in progress? Wh what? We did indeed. It's not easy, being a hero of justice. Trouble always seems to come to you. Why did you not notify me immediately? Filthy mongrel? Notify you how? I've been asking for your phone number for months and you always blow me off. Yeah. <sighs> Did you see the culprits, Yuya? Yes. Fearsome foes, indeed. Stick your beaks too far into this and you could lose them. Don't say I haven't warned you. Ha! <laughs> I like you, mongrel, to cower in this filthy hovel out of fear. I, for my part, shall find these wrongdoers and have my revenge. I, too, swear to retrieve the stolen trees on my honor as a hunter-gatherer. How brave of you. Let me reward your courage with a little evidence. Yuya picks up one of the rubber... <laughs> Yuya picks up one of a number of photographs lined up on the table and holds it out to us. They were already on their way... They were already on their way out when I arrived at the scene. And alas, I was unable to keep their trail. But I am a professional, and I couldn't just let them get away. I made sure to capture them on film. These are the culprits. <laughs> oh, fuck. What are these? 
White sings. Oh! See? They shock even a bold lady of a hunter-gatherer origin. That, that's not it, Yuya. I know these creatures. Oh? Are they friends of yours? Who are they and where do they live? Tell me this instant. I don't know who they are exactly. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! You two, where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take you to the employee's lounge. So high society does have rules. Merry Christmas? Yeah, I don't know. Weird little fuckers. <sighs> Those are the two things who got scolded by the security guard in the high society Seagull department store. Aren't they? They were caught breaking things in the Christmas section of the department store yesterday and got taken away by security. What in... Looks like they go after anything with Christmas on it. <laughs> Though I can sympathize with their enthusiasm for the holy night. We thought they were only going after easy targets, but it looks like once they got their sight of something, they won't rest until it's theirs or destroyed. The entire city is filled with the Christmas decorations. We have no way of knowing where they'll strike next and thus no way of ambushing them. Not necessarily. We could lure them easily with an extravagant tree in an obvious place, don't you think? They've got guts, but they don't seem particularly intelligent. I agree with Yuya. I think we should try to bait them. When it's settled, and the best bait would be the finest tree in the city. Right, Sakuya? The finest tree in town. Do you know of a good one, Sakuya? Are you suggesting we use the LaBelle's family Christmas tree as a lure mongrel? Of course! Given how much work he put into the council room tree, he almost certainly has a gorgeous and decadent tree at home. It seems like the best choice. And you aren't about to just let them get away with having burned your other tree, are you? Course not! Where's your tree set up, Sakya? In the main salon. It is not visible from outside. It would take a great deal of time and labor to move it outside and redecorate it. And do not think that is a realistic option. Hmm. We'll have to rely on newspaper ads and words of mouth then. The LaBelle family moved here from little moved here to Little Dove Hachiman City from France is displaying its gorgeous Christmas tree to the public. Or something. Who said anything about opening the mansion to the public? Why not take the opportunity to show off a little? It's your first Christmas year after Christmas year after all, and it should help spread the LaBelle family's reputation. Hmm. Come on, Sakuya! Open it up to the whole city. Let every birdie know you have an extravagantly decorated tree at home. The thieves should hear the rumors and they'll come to see, and then we can catch them. Very well, I shall assist you. Cool. Cool. I'll get everything ready for an announcement in the evening papers. Something like... The LaBelle family's Christmas tree is open for public viewing tonight. All Christmas enthusiasts welcome. We'll be fine, right? That sounds good. What kind of super high school student are you to have that much clout with the local newspaper companies? Any male dove would become super for a lady as lovely as yourself, mon ami. I shall be off then. Adieu. Lustanka! You is leading the bait for us, so should we work on a plan to catch the thieves at your house, Sakuya? A reasonable suggestion. We should plan our strategy after school then. Okay, hang on. It is 10.01, which means it's time for us to put a pause on this game. Fly the coop, even. 
Uh, we will pick up because it is so very Christmassy and we are so very close to that time of the year. We will finish this game next Tuesday on Victor Plays, but for tonight, it is time for us to do the thing which we love to do once again and say thank you to our wonderful Patreon supporters. So thank you to Kate Macross, George Davidson, coming up with a new Patreon name every week was exhausting. The Geek Nights podcast, Bob is retired, so my new attorney, a love lady named Janice, has designated me as thine boozler Al, King of South Yokohama. Zara Gorgian, Ethan Fryer, J Bands, Buggy and Ducky, Chibi Squee! Mo yo shoho provo floro koro blofo to sho koro croso sho to mmm croso sho fro to tro lo so mmm Okay, I'm starting again. Ready? Mo yo shoho provo floro koro blofo to sho croso sho flo tro lo lo sho plofo sho flo flo lo so <sighs> and you do for your generous contributions. Thank you so much for for helping keep the channel a children. And with that, I say good night, good night, and uh, I'll catch you next time on Victor Plays.